Teach for Grappling, what's up guys? Brian Peterson, I've got Eddie Diaz here, and we're gonna talk about that Brian Ortega, Yair Rodriguez fight. Uh, Eddie, what'd you think, man? I don't know, it was, a, it was a close one, I don't know. Yeah, it was a good fight, like, like, like it was gonna be an amazing fight. I thought Yair was, was piecing him up a little bit on the feet, but anyway, it ended in controversy, and I was scrolling the Facebooks, and in the Facebooks, I saw somebody say that that fight should have been like a no contest. A crucial call. Like, like they, they, they were talking about that he, it was a fluke, that the shoulder popped out and it was not by Yair. And of course, it was not cool to see as a fan, but I want to give you guys my take on it. And I'm sorry, I say it was a submission. It's a submission victory. And I think it's impossible to be anything else. So let me discuss this, guys. Sometimes you'll have things in fights happen, like maybe in the first round, some guy will have an accident happen. He'll, he'll stumble or whatever, and he, he, he rolls his ankle, his ankle or something, and then it's declared no, no contest. It was not caused by the opponent whatsoever, right? Well, even though Ortega could have had a bad shoulder before the incident, that's not at all taken away from what Yair did. Guys, you cannot say, well, uh, you don't understand. I've had a few concussions in my life. My chin is kind of soft. And when someone cracks me in the chin, I fall kind of easy. So he didn't really knock me out. It's just my bad chin, my weak chin. That's not an argument. You can't go into a fight with a hurt elbow, a hurt shoulder, a hurt knee, a hurt ankle, yeah. and then have a situation that is caused by a a specific submissional, but I want to actually show you guys because I'm gonna have a lot of pushback from you guys that think you're probably an Ortega fan, which I am as well. I really like Brian Ortega, but I, like to I gotta him. call it how I see it. And guys, they they think it was an armbar. They think that what what Yair did was an armbar, and I'm telling you guys, what he did was a shoulder lock. Yeah, this is gonna be controversial. I mean, how do you, the way the body this is gonna be controversial. Like, Check it out. Let's say I have this position, we, even though they were up against the fence, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. let, let, uh, I step in front for a hip throw. Let's say my arm lands here around the neck. Let's say I took him down like this. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the knee inserts and the arm bar inserts. Guys, this right here is an arm bar. You see, this is an arm bar. Look at my arm. When he starts to bridge and hyperextend my elbow, boom, that's an elbow lock. Now, that's not what happened. Look at my arm right here, around the waist. See? As he got taken down and got thrown, and the, and the arm goes in, or the, excuse me, the legs go in. My shoulder right here is totally in the position. Everything is in. It was as deep as possible. I want to show you guys what an arm bar looks like again. Look. You see this? This is the arm bar. Mm -hmm. And then right here, I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna get my arm in super deep. I want you to overhook my arm. Wizard. No, no, get a full wizard. Yes. And now, guys, what happens right here? Again, did Ortega have a bad, we, nobody knows. I know Ortega knows. He probably had a bad shoulder. He's had it worked on before, but with a little bit of squeeze, go ahead, give me a squeeze. And now start to, yeah, right there. Now, guys, what this is doing is, it's putting a lot of pressure on my shoulder. This is not an elbow lock mm -hmm. at all, okay? And then what happens, because if you come around here, Ortega now knows that he's in a deep, deep submission. So he tries to retract and it ends up pulling this way. Yeah, that's now, nice. with my arm like this, this is flat out in a, a shoulder lock like an Americana. If, if this isn't deep and you squeeze real tight and then arc tap, Shit, yeah. good. And again, what, what I'm tapping to guys, I don't feel sharp pain in my shoulder, but I feel my shoulder under a lot of tension, much like I would con like, kind of like a heel hook. In a, in a heel hook, sometimes you don't feel pain and then it just pops. Go ahead and tighten, tighten, tighten. Right there, I'm, I, I, I'm not in intense pain, but I do not like what's happening. And that's the problem. With these fighters, you guys, look at also, look at my legs, look at my stance. Can you see my stance? Mm -hmm. This leg up this knee down yeah. do you notice that i'm not in the normal stack because i'm not i'm in too deep i'm in too deep 
a normal armbar stack, let's say you were to get to the armbar, I would put this knee down and this leg up. You see that? Sure. Now I'm in the regular armbar. And then now you're, I'm looking to put weight against you mm -hmm. to, you know, so you can't hyperextend my elbow. Yeah. But when my arm comes off the hip throw and your arm's in this deep and flexible guys, Eddie, you're just like Yair, beautiful. Do you feel it? And overhook tight, Eddie. Yeah. Look at this position. Guys, the reason I saw, I, I knew this. One, I rewatched it, <laughs> truth number one. Two, I've been in this position before. Squeeze real tight and start to look. I, yeah, that's nasty, dude. It's on my shoulder. Even with my elbow straight, it's still on my shoulder. Yeah. Keep going. Okay, that's my shoulder blocking, not my elbow. Okay. Now yeah. let's let's go ahead. I'm gonna retract. And what, see when I retract, catches it. Now the shoulder starts to tear. Go ahead. Yeah, right yeah. there. And then it pulled out. Let go. At that point, Yair was already releasing. He probably felt a pop. He probably felt it and he probably um, maybe heard something, yeah, you know, like some, some type of sound. Yeah, that's, yeah, so that's, once it's still and I come up, yeah. I feel like it's gonna. A long time ago, uh, Sakuraba was able to ca catch Ebenezer Braga like, like this. Uh, just go to your back. He caught Ebenezer Braga like this. Yeah, that, I can see, see that. that. And again, this is more straight up, just like Americana. But now imagine, Eddie, come on up. You have, you know, again, I'm not real flexible anymore. I don't like this kind of stuff. But as, as he went, whoop, this yeah. right here, uh, put your shoulder inside around my waist. No, no, right, yes. See, that sucks. Now, do you see what's happening right here? Yeah. I have a shoulder lock. There, it can't even be your elbow. Your elbow hasn't even pulled out. Once, I start Once it starts to pull out, now, now look at it. You feel yeah, that pressure? That's brutal. And then now, boom. Now it turns into, sh you see, see your stance? Now you can stack and put the back leg up, and now you can pull your arm out. Okay, and then pass the go ahead. So, I'm not saying that it was designed to be a shoulder lock. Yeah, he did it like I'm doing an armbar, like a classical armbar. But what's amazing about it is now the whole world gets to see that there's variations. Yeah, when it's and sometimes, out, it it. sometimes an armbar can be in so deep that it is a, a type of shoulder lock. And for that reason, it's absolutely a submission. Now, did he tap? No, technically no. Well, he might've screamed. I, I, I don't have the audio, but he might've said something. I think he said something more than likely. Yeah. Uh, because Yair was very respectful to release. So either it was the pop of the shoulder that made him release, or it was a maybe a, a slight little uh, verbal tap that made him release. But whatever, because he seemed very uh, uh, so car caring for. So for you Ortega. think it's a little similar to uh, Frank Mir and Tim Sylvia? Um. In the same yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, but, no, no. Yeah, but yeah, no. That was oh, just forearm. Break. No, no, that that one was just straight. Uh, elbow was on the cup, and it forearm broke, and it was actually Herb Dean that stopped that one. Remember? Oh, right, yeah, right, I didn't Yeah, no, that was, that was just Herb Dean stopping it. Mira was trying to rip it off and take it home and put it on, <laughs> put it on the wall. So that was just a freak accident. Yeah, that, well, it's not a, I, again, <laughs> so I, Frank Mira is not stupid. He's a smart guy. He knew what he was doing. He was, he was trying home. to take it home and put it on his wall. Mm -hmm. He needed, you know, <laughs> Frank, you know, he wanted Sylvia's arm on the wall. So he, it's like, I'm taking it home and, 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 and on, now we're off on another yeah, subject. Sorry, Thank you very much. Sorry. You make coach go crazy. Guys, on that, back in the day, we actually used to practice that. It was actually taught to me was you can break the forearm with an arm bar. Maybe I'll do that on another video. Okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. And uh, no disrespect at all to Brian Ortega or to any of his fans. He's a great fighter. But it was a submission by Yair. Whether he knew it or not, he was pulling at the shoulder and uh, pop the shoulder out. Yeah, so, that was sweet. I like that's that. it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you guys disagree with me, go ahead and give me the hate. I'm expecting some at least. But hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown, and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.